Welcome back to my series of Let's Play Cook Serve Delicious. This will be day 54 and day 55. And where I left off last time, I have a, what I think is a last date with Sarah, who requires lasagna on the menu, so I've got that. And I've also got a bet with fish and ice cream involved, which if I go back to my active menu, I have fish and ice cream on the menu. Beyond that, I don't think anything particularly has changed since day 53. So, off we go with day 54. We are, however, close to a three-star restaurant. I think three or four days away. And the bet requires 24 combos. I can't read for a second. In a couple of days' time, the aluminium or stainless steel toilet, which I financed in one of the click and start invention emails, will be coming through as well. A couple of days after that, it'll be a three part. A day or so after that, it'll be a three star restaurant. And I believe that will open up the iron cook options. Or at least hopefully start to. It will open up a load more upgrades. Two meat chop chips, cherry, whipped cream and nuts. And once the new wonderful toilet is in place, hopefully the other inventions will start coming through, including the improvement for the trash, and the improvement for the washing dishes, which is a new and wonderful sponge. Oh, and I screwed that up. That was dumb of me. Now, which basically means I get to start the combos all over again. Another two cups of butter, number six, start the lobster, number two. Oh, that suddenly got busy. And now I've got to get it back up to whatever it was, by the way, of combos. Six, two cups of butter. Wonder Woman with her desire for a lasagna. What's her name? Sarah. Butter and cocktail. Uh, start cooking that lobster, get that lasagna going. Yeah, she can have that one. Even though I'm starting to get the hang of lasagna, or I've started to get the hang of lasagna, I'm still not enjoying doing it compared to the easier foods I tend to do. But needs must when the devil vomits in your shoes. But hopefully I can get these 24 combos done before she sends me her phone messages and that wrecks my day, which I've just managed to succeed doing. I'm not going to get a perfect day because I've already messed up. So, all I need now is for the phone message to come through. So I can complete that and we can move on with life. Hopefully she'll then dump me at the end of the day. And I never have to do lasagna again. Lasagna, lasagna. Again, I pronounce it that word in so many different ways. <laughs> during the course of this recording, or these, these recordings.
And that was amazingly efficient of me going through all six of those. I actually seem to do it reasonably efficiently. Not something I can normally say about myself. and stuff out of the way before I answer this phone call. Season and cook, right. I'm answering the part, uh, I gave money to a homeless dude today, paying it forward. Oh, hang on a second, two, four. I'll leave you my ice cream sundae. That makes us both. Good luck, good. So that's dealt with. Hope he, he'll tell me how wonderful I am in an email and then dump me. And I can move on with life. That's a rarity, having three, mi three items on the go as the restaurant closes. Normally one, occasionally two, but three is the exception. Okay, so income of 831 plus $60 in tips. That's a lot of tips. 62 perfect orders, one bad order. That seems to be the thing with me. I do either perfect or bad. I rarely seem to do average. And everything else is done. So that's all. This. Everything's done apart from the last three days. Excellent work. We we d but we don't yet know whether you are worthy. We shall see. Another mysterious ticket. Menu rot is occurring. That's the cook bet result. How good? So good! Your food went beyond my expectations. It was a great meal and one that I can't wait to have again. Great work. Yeah, thanks. Didn't do anything for me, though. Steak, sushi, coffee, and a breakfast sandwich. I might take that one. It pays okay. But we'll definitely get rid of those two. So, steak, sushi, coffee, and a breakfast sandwich. We don't want that anymore. So, we'll put coffee back down there. And we'll lose the ice cream and take the breakfast sandwich. So, as long as I remembered that correctly, yes I did. As long as I actually accept the bet, not make the mistake I made in an earlier day. So that's all of that. It appears Sarah hasn't dumped me yet, unfortunately. So, what else have we got? Well, we can upgrade the ice cream to its full level. This will upgrade it to level... Oh, it's, is it its full last level? Not sure. Looks like it probably was. So that's that one. And uh, it's probably safe to upgrade the burgers because Melanie was the the date that liked burgers. So a surplus of pickles and six new rep. So that will add pickles to the burgers. Okay, so today, day 55, which is pretty much a standard day, apart from it has a bet involved. So there's one one less non-rotting food on the menu. I've done all the extra events. I could go and buy a bit of equipment, but I think I'll keep the cash for now. And we'll just go through day 55, because we're so close to a three-star restaurant. 
but I really don't want to make it any more complex than I have to. As that will open up things and allow allow things which are frequently not seen to be seen. And I need what eighteen combos. Should have managed that after the first rush hour. Assuming I don't mess up. and find tuna. The one nice thing about doing steak is it takes so long to cook that it slows everything down so you're not having a frantic day when you've got steak on the menu. Or not as frantic a day as you could be having, should I say. Just a sausage. Or do you want a sausage and bacon? Here we are now at 2.30 in the afternoon, on the second day of this recording. Everything being under control. I've eaten, I've had enough to drink, so I'm not hungry or thirsty. I've still got my cold, but there are moments when it's better than worse. Although I don't know how this sounds to you on, on a recording. I'm probably still horribly nasal, nasally and breathing too hard. But generally all is good with the world. So I'm not ranting about anything at the moment. I'm not thinking of anything weird to discuss. Or not thinking of who I can insult and how. Because naturally, being me, was conditioned from birth to consider the French the enemy. So I could find hundreds of things to say about the French. But I won't, because I have a couple of friends who are French and a couple of friends who are English who now live in France, so I try not to insult the French as much as I used to. And now that, of course, Britain has voted for a Brexit, we will not be tied to Europe and at the mercy of the French farmers who get upset whenever things are going wrong for them and generally cause mayhem or the... I'm not going to think about the French air traffic controllers that go on strike every summer and every year to go on holiday, or anything like that. I, I still must admit, Paris is a lovely place. 
last time I was there it was however still oops, the streets were covered with dog shit but that's not my problem I don't live there so as long as you're aware of that possibility when you actually go to France it's not a big deal but generally the French French especially outside of Paris I tend to find are very nice people which was a surprise to me as I said I've been conditioned to think of them as pretty much the devil with with a pitchfork and I was expecting to see horns coming out the top of the head the first time I met people from France and it surprised me when I didn't but generally like most people in most countries decent hard-working honest nice people there are always exceptions and a large amount of exceptions always seem to go into politics but generally as a nation of people I tend to find the French rather nice a bit overly obsessed with cheese and cooking but there I am playing a cooking game when I say that there's what I think he the term irony was invented for. Anyway, I'll stop muttering about the French now. And all other Europeans. And I achieved a perfect day. Didn't make much money because the food isn't that well upgraded. But made enough. <coughs> Excuse me. Two more days to go. And here's hopefully where I get dumped. I'm off to the local university to pursue my art career, so I won't be able to stop by the tower anymore, but please accept this little gift I found mysteriously strange one strange day. Perhaps you can make better use of it, Sarah. Four mysterious tickets we received. You will be given a new cook for love person to date in the future. Good. She's out of my life. Super upgrade is available. Another silver ticket perfect day. Congrats, your funding helped push the project over the edge to be successfully funded. Here now is a message from the project designer. Wow, thank you for your contribution. I've next day aired you the very first toilet off the assembly block so that you can start flushing in style today. Thanks so much. Your project or item should be in your restaurant inventory right now. Thank you for cont contributing to Click and Start. Watch for more projects soon. That's the cook bet results, which is $616. But, uh, yeah, we've had that one before. So Okay, so, been dumped again. Been got my new toilet. I wonder if it shows up in the equipment menu. And no, it doesn't change. It still thinks they've got a commercial toilet, even though I should have the new one. Hash browns and pancakes. I can't be bothered, not for that bet. Not when I'm this close to getting to the next level. So my active menu, did it have menu rot? No it didn't, but it, I don't want that. And it needs a special changed. We'll go with that, that, and that. That will do for food. I've got 4,300. Which we will keep because I don't know when the next click and start's going to come up. Plus, again, real close to the next day. So that'll do it for this recording. As always, have fun. If you're not having fun with what you're doing, I hope you're getting paid for it. And if you're not getting paid for it, well, stop doing it. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>